is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today we're making a quick easy pantry meal from our preps old-fashioned salmon patties. These salmon patties are so easy and absolutely delicious and a great way to use up your pantry items that you have been collecting. So we're just going to use one can of pink salmon, some vegetable oil, I'm going to use onion bits, the little dried onion pieces. Uh, you can use onion powder for this as well. I'm going to use some parsley, breadcrumbs, ground black pepper, garlic, powder and three of these tiny eggs. Normally I use two large eggs but I've got new hands so we're using three tiny ones. And on the side to go with this I'm going to do a can of baked beans. I'm going to heat those up and a can of carrots. So we've got a nice good meal. So let's get started. So first I've just opened and drained my salmon. I'm going to put that in a bowl and we are going to flake this up. Now you can leave the bones in, they, you definitely can eat them, the, everything is already cooked. I like to remove them, I don't know, just my personal preference. But there are tons of nutrition in here and I know a lot of people eat those and you can literally crush them with your fingers and you won't notice they're in there. So we're just going to flake this up. All right, so once we have our salmon all flaked up, I'm just gonna beat these eggs a little bit, just kind of mix them up. Just real quick, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just like the yolks broken and it kind of blended and we're gonna pour it right in to our salmon. All right, and then I'm gonna add a heaping half teaspoon of our dried diced onions. We're going to make it a whole teaspoon. Then we're going to add a half teaspoon of garlic. I love a little garlic in there. You can change up these seasonings definitely. If you want something more savory, you could put in rosemary and thyme and things like that. That's always great with fish. You can really change these up any way you like. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of dried parsley also. And about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. We'll just shake that right in there. One more. As much as you like. And any of these seasonings, you know, if you don't like it, obviously don't use it. And then we're going to add about a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. And this really helps hold it together. But you don't have to use this. If you're looking for something that is uh, high protein, low carb, you can skip this step. I think it helps hold it together better, but it's totally up to you. And if you don't have breadcrumbs, you could use flour. I've even heard of people using cornmeal. So this is, you can really mix this up anyway. So we're just going to mix this so it's nice and combined. And we're going to start making patties. Okay, and just a little tip, I use an old jar lid, just like off a spaghetti sauce jar. This is from Classico. It's the same size as a mason jar lid. And this makes the perfect little size patty. And this way they're uniform. I mean, you can make them by hand. That's perfectly fine. And make them any size you want. But this just makes them nice and uniform in size so they cook evenly. And then you can just pop it on your hand and you have a perfect patty. Simple and easy. Just a little trick that I learned and it works marvelously. So again I just scoop it right into the lid and I just pack it a little bit with my fingers so it's nice and tight in there and then pop it on your hand. There we go. Oh, we got a little piece of stock. We'll just stick it right on there. 
there. Okay, so while we are heating up our oil, I'm also getting my beans and carrots into the pans and getting those heated up as well. And I like to cook in cast iron. You want to make sure this gets good and hot so it doesn't stick. Put your oil in, start heating it up. Once it's nice and hot, you're ready to put your goodies in. And these are kind of loose, so you don't want to turn them a lot. You want to just let them cook so they get nice and crispy, about five minutes on one side before you flip it. And we're just going to let those cook. I'm going to leave them right like that. And at about five minutes, I'm going to flip them All over. right, so once you start to notice they're getting a little golden around the edges, you can flip these little darlings over. You want to be kind of careful with them so they don't fall apart and they don't slide off your spatula 12 times. And you don't want to splash grease. There we go. They are a little slippery. And again, we're going to let these cook about five minutes. And once they're all done and cooked, I like to put them on a paper towel or this is a paper bag. Either one works wonderful just to soak up a little bit of that grease. Um, you can see under here, they're a little greasy, but they're delicious. Mm. And that is it. These are so simple and easy. It takes about 15 minutes total. You can have your whole meal done. Um, we used just a canned vegetable and a can of beans that we had. Um, I canned my own, but the store-bought works perfect. And we usually only eat two of these, but a good hearty eater would definitely might want three. And you get about eight patties out of one can of salmon. So you can stretch it out a good long ways and add a piece of bread to this and you have got a super duper meal. And they are crispy on the outside and nice and moist on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Yum. It's so yummy and delicious. Mmm. Perfect. And that's it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.